When you think about a genius in the most generic term, the first person who comes to mind is probably Albert Einstein. But after you hear this story, you may want to change how you think. This young girl from New Jersey has an IQ nearly as high as Einstein's, and she's only six. Here's Eyewitness News reporter Anthony Johnson. What? I didn't know that. She is bubbly, has a beautiful Let's personality, and oh, did I mention she's brilliant. Alkali metal, alkali At the tender age of six, Declan Lopez is a member of the oh, Mensa Society. For the rest of us, that means the smartest of the smartest, with an IQ of 138. We're talking Einstein level here. I am interested in art, science, math, and geography. The gifted kindergartner reads on a third or fourth grade level. No, like lanthanum, cesium. Declan goes to school here in Dover, New Jersey. 9.86. Where she is a shining star. My favorite thing to learn is force in motion. Force in motion? So tell me the new word again. Vexillology. Vexillology. And what does that word mean? The study of flags. I didn't know that, did you? Oh, that's such a good hug. Her parents started noticing Declan's intelligence early on when she was just 18 months old. We were on like a trip and in the airport and she just started to count in Mandarin. So there is a challenge. Puzzle activities. Keeping this active six-year-old intellectually stimulated with an activity chart while letting her be a kid. I want her to laugh and joke and make mistakes and do things that six-year-olds do. On top of raising an exceptional daughter, there is strong evidence showing Declan's little brother Maddox is following in her footsteps. I wrote my name. The Lopez's are trying to figure out if brilliance runs in the family DNA. Zero nine. They add that Google Alexa has become their best friend because the kids know things they can't answer without artificial intelligence. But their kids are the real deal. Special youngsters thirsty to learn everything. Hello, world. And Rockaway Township, New Jersey, Anthony Johnson, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Thank you.